Hi, I'm Podrick. Hi, my name's Josh. My name's Nithia. My name's Yomi. I'm Christy. Hello, I'm Steve. I'm Michael. Hello, I'm Kate, and this is Viewpoint. Our contributor Anna Pollitt won Viewpoint this week with an article about Mylene Class, Mylene Claus, Mylene Class. Who's Mylene Class? <laughs> Pure and simple, gonna be there whatever it takes. Two mums in her school were hoping to raise some money for gifts for their kids. As a famous mother myself, sometimes I can understand how um, doing something that any annoying parent might do can land you in the spotlight. The gifts were a Kindle and a desk, as far as I remember. I don't really know what an eight-year-old needs with a Kindle. I don't really know what an eight-year-old even needs with its own desk. Children only need small desks anyway, which is presumably cheaper, because there's less wood. She had used her big following on Twitter and on Instagram to sort of slate these mums. I think it was really dodgy, and I don't like people kind of taking to social media to embarrass people. Uh, you can use Snapchat, which will self-delete. You can go through the Mission Impossible option of having it self-destruct in somebody's hands. There's so many new um, technological and social media advancements. What we have is a pyramid of pointless anger. At the top we have Mylene, and then below that is a swathe of probably mums. And not mums. And just people on the internet who are grumbling for the sake of grumbling. The thing I think about this story is it's all kind of bitchy and stupid playground stuff. But I feel really sorry for Mylene Class's daughter. Other oh, kids in school are going to be hearing their parents say nasty things about this little girl's mum. I agree with the mothers who were saying that she probably wasn't getting any photographers papping her outside the school gates anymore. And I love their catchiness. Meow! Arr! She's basically one of those people who are sort of a bit loud and causes gossip amongst your friends. But because she's famous now, that becomes a headline. Now I'm going to read some comments. I can't stand the bitch either, lol. And then she got six thumbs up. I respect her totally. Four thumbs up. She's a prat. Four thumbs up. I think if I wasn't, I'd be the only person on the planet. The Mummaverse is becoming a scary place. What happened to just giving your kids a party bag and going to KFC for a party? My parents just said, no, you can't have stuff because, well, it's just too expensive. I was quite happy with some pizzas, my friends around, a frilly dress. I mean, nothing happened to me. I still turned out pretty normal. I mean, at least I think I'm normal. I know, it kind of takes the spirit away from kids' parties and kids' presents, really, doesn't it? My Facebook feed is becoming this place of these crazy birthday parties where they transform an entire house house into a castle from Frozen and you hire actors and you have a juggler. They're wrapping their children in cotton wool and it's not setting a good example. Maybe it's Pinterest. I blame Pinterest. Everything my kids do, I'm like a huge proud mama lion. I'm just like, they're amazing. I don't think Mining Class was right in the way she handled it. Was it an effective way of sort of stopping this behavior? If this will like get the crazy Mummaverse to calm a bit down before I'm ready to have kids. You know what, Mylene? Thank you. Circumvent Mylene. Use free cycle. Circumvent Mylene. That doesn't work. So what is going to win next week? You're going to have to come back here next Friday and we will have more video of us talking about whatever article wins viewpoint next week. Come back and subscribe. 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 Bye.